Awe is a very important thing that we have in our lives. It shapes our decision and creates a balance in just society. Law students usually would have to do the typical three-year Juris Doctorate, but the University of Akron is drilling on a new program called the Masters of Studies in Law. To talk more about this, I recently sat down with Ryan Vaca, the interim co-dean at the University of Akron School of Law and the director of Center for Intellectual Property and Technology and Law. This program is a total of 30 credit hours and should take up to a year to complete. The, the Master of Studies of Law, the MSL, is a, uh, it's a new program that we started that's catered towards students who want to have some experience or have some exposure to the law, but they don't want to practice law uh, in the traditional sense of working at a firm or, or even practicing law at all. Um, instead, for those uh, students or, or early career professionals or even mid-career mid professionals who uh, have interactions with the law, uh, this would be an opportunity them, for them to learn a little bit about it and uh, be able to sort of advance their career uh, with that, that extra knowledge. This program is open to people of all majors. Ryan gives some examples of majors such as engineering or health that might benefit people from taking this program. So uh, it's really designed for anybody, uh, anybody who has some interaction with uh, the law or the, the legal profession. Um, so it's, it's not tied to any specific major. Um, anybody who, who has a connection uh, with legal concepts, which pretty much is, is anyone, can, can study this. So for example, we think of engineers, right? Engineers may uh, deal with uh, their patent counsel, for example, and they may want to know a little bit about patent law. And what they would do is they would come in and say, I, I want to customize my program to fit my career goals um, and, and needs. So, for example, they could come in and take a variety of, of intellectual property classes, maybe some business law classes, so that they'd be best prepared to continue on at their uh, current employer or make a move to another employer and say, look, I have this, uh, this Master of Studies of Law, I know something a little bit, a little bit about the law, and how this can be helpful in, uh, in my career and for your business going forward. Um, likewise, we could, you could have a healthcare administrator working in a hospital who needs to know a little bit about tort law, for example, or human resources, or elder law. Um, and again, they're not practicing law and advising the hospital on, on legal issues, but they have this sort of working knowledge of the law and how it pertains to their job. Students who participate in this program early might be on their way to their careers quicker, but in no way is it cheap. So the, the tuition for the MSL is the same as the law school credit. So you pay per credit hour, um, and I think it works out to be uh, somewhere around... dollars a credit hour, um, whatever the whatever the, the law school um, uh, tuition is, the JD tuition is the same as that. Any students that wish to transfer from the three-year JD program to the MSL program can, but they will be going on a different career path in terms of law. So I can say that uh, it is possible to start in the JD program and and then start, and then, then not finish and go into the Master's of Study of Law program, um, you're not really getting out early. I mean, you, you are in terms of you're finishing up in one year as opposed to three years, um, but it's a completely diff different degree. So you're not, uh, you're not able to sit for the bar exam uh, and practice law in, in that sense. Uh, so it's a possibility um, and it's something that has to be you know, worked out. There are many MSL programs across the country. Dean Vaca explains why UA's MSL program stands out from the rest. The, the MSL, so our MSL is, it's flexible, right? There, there are other MSL, or they have different names, but um, that are tied to specific areas. So, for, you know, there may be an MSL for, that specializes in, in intellectual property law, or maybe one that specializes in uh, criminal justice or something like that. Ours is, is flexible, it's customizable based on uh, the student's particular desires and, and needs. Something that should be noted, this MSL degree does not allow you to take the Ohio State Bar exam and practice law in the state of Ohio. Students still would need to be in the three-year JD program in order to practice Ohio law.
is, is purely a degree that has uh, that, that's being used for sort of professional development purposes to better position uh, folks to be able to advance in their career, and um, but not to not to practice law at all. This program, however, does help you get jobs and not specifically pertaining to the law. Yeah, absolutely. So if uh, if you wanted to do some work in let's say human resources, for example, and needed to know a little bit about employment discrimination law and human resources law generally, um, or uh, corporations and business associations, for example, um, this would be a job or this would be a degree where you could uh, uh, finish up and then go to prospective employers and say, look, I have a master's in the study of law from the University of Akron, and, and my area of specialty was human resources or employment or whatever it might be be um, and really gear it towards that particular employer. If you would like more information about this program, you can log on to www.uacron.edu or contact the law school for more information. This has been Naquan James for Lights, Camera, Akron.